Welcome back to Conspiracies in the Dark. We're on the third floor. Oh, hello. I also have some... Well, that's a... Very strange beam there. That doesn't go all the way to the wall. How's that supposed to carry any kind of load whatsoever? So I it's a purely decorative beam? Who built this house? I don't know, I would have a fit if you saw that. <laughs> Hello? Ah. Time to mark it. Down, there's two. Two down, five to go for the objective at least. Feels like metal. Sound leakage in here. Should not be able to hear that guard so easily. Uh, wait till he turns and then I'll run down and switch the light off. Run down. And the word went before him on a previous. Why did he suddenly go quiet? Shit. Don't do that, man. Told you not to do that. Brother Rosetta. One guess here on the third floor in the Lord's bedroom. I guess he's dead, right? Still. Four guests on the third floor. Rosetta. I don't know if it makes sense to note them down, but yeah, maybe he's got something I can steal. I have his key. Why am I trying those? A golden hammer. All right. Autopsy report. A victim, Lord Paul Martin, coroner, brother Reseda. Well, yes. Okay. Ah, it does have multiple pages. I arrived at the crime scene, Officer Lord Martin, located on the third floor of the manor, at approximately 9pm. I was able to observe that the cadaver was still upright in a sitting position when it was facing the open window. An arrow had pierced the superior left part of Lord Martin's chest right through his heart. The bleeding wasn't abundant, and its substance appeared to be natural. The odour and the taste of the aforementioned substance suggest that death occurred less than 12 hours ago. Uh, I have therefore estimated that he had been dead for 9 hours. Hence have I concluded that Lord Martin died at midnight on the 16th of the 12th of the year 125 according to the new hemorrhite calendar. Cause of death, a fatal internal hemorrhage due to the penetration of an arrow into the heart. Judging by the angle with which the projectile met the chest and by the depth reached, the assassin had to be within 60 feet, therefore probably in one of the large trees in the park that faces the office window. I, Brother Reseda, mandated officially by the order of the hammer, certify that this autopsy is authentic and definitive. Alright, shot from the window with an arrow in his office. That's maybe worth noting. I don't know where his office is. Shot with arrow through window while in his office. Oh, it's another light switch. I mean, I can have the lights on and actually see what I'm doing now. In case there's anything else of value in his room. What's that? The door. Idiot. Never heard a door before. Okay.
this guy likes to to freaking uh, places like this. If you want to, if you're close to something, and you shoot your rope arrow without pulling the the bow very far back, it will go in silently. He turns right around, so he will see me come down the rope if I time it wrong. But unfortunately, I don't know. I guess I can watch his feet. Opera glasses. What's it? No sweet opera, 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 opera glasses. Opera glasses. Okay, so Rosetta had the hammer. Ah. She had a, was it a tiara? Which was missing. So, we've, we've stolen from Rosetta, right? Nosebu is up here, and we've stolen from the nosery. But, uh, so maybe we are establishing sort of a guilt. Or at least evidence of who's where. Now is he going to turn the light back on again as well if I turn it off? Everything seems to be going our way and we didn't have to do anything. As for Martin Martin Jr., I suppose that he'll stop harassing me now that he knows he's a rich man. A little jerk imagined he would inherit everything just because he's the second son of old Lord Martin. The rest of the money has been equally divided between the Baron and the Order of the Hammer. On the other hand, the property and 90% of the shares in the business have been bequeathed to foreign investors, all of them fictitious. I'll thus to can take, take control over Martin Imports, a bit like a puppet master that no one suspects exists. I will be rich. Also, I hope I'll have a clear conscience, since I have all these greedy paws to grease. Since General Truitt has returned from the battlefield, I have the premonition that it will be necessary for me to begin with him. What a lovely gift Mr. Ramirez gave to the Lord. Those two shiny daggers must be really valuable. Too bad his lordship decided to display them high above the staircase. He would have loved to gaze at them while sipping a margarita in the bar. Daggers above the staircase. Testament, Lord Paul Martin, verified and proved by Celadon Mordoray. <laughs> Nursery. Yeah, he's turning the light back on as well. That's alright. He doesn't have anything on his belt, does he? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Did I see something? Nope. Guess it was not that. <laughs> something on top of the bed there? There is something on top of the bed there. Something valuable on top of the bed, though. What? That was nothing, I guess. I can't get, I get to him from this side. Mm -hmm. You know what? I thought I saw something. These guests should all be asleep. There's no way I can win with him turning, turning around like that. No way I can reasonably, uh. Still a dawn. Mordoray. Actually, is that wood? Not 100% certain. Should be, right? Yes. Ah. Valuable, alright. Secret three. <sighs> Where's my rope? That one doesn't open. Okay.
so actually I could should be able to get down here pretty quietly, right? Pretty safely. And quietly. You go. Who's that guy hanging out there? He wasn't there when I came in that way. Oh, he's a guard, okay. <coughs> Hello, you, you told me? Mm. It is I, the tapper. Martin, would you please stop sending me all these letters? I cannot be held responsible for what's in your brother's will. He gave you almost half his money. That should be enough for you to live on for 300 years without ever having to work. Now, concerning the ownership of the business, read it again. Everything is clearly written. Take the money and enjoy it for builder's sake. The Lord Mortary, nursery. Mm-hmm. Do you have a key on you? No. Key somewhere on the mantelpiece. On the clock. Where is your key? And it's funny, why isn't, Martin, why isn't Martin in the Lord's bedroom? You'd think that would be... He would claim that as his right. I mean, at the risk of waking you up... I might be able to see a little better. Hunting for a key like this. Is here. And we need a key. Mm. Oh, I left the door open now, it's not good. He's down to the piano. We can take this guy, but we don't know how to deal if he's on the piano. Where are you guys running away, huh? Alright, well, how am I going to get out of this predicament? Oh, they've, they've lost sight of me. That's... Well... Wake up the guy snoozing on the couch down there. Why don't we deliver one guard to each guest as a present? Make sure their valuables stay safe. Okay, quietly here, because Martin is not unconscious. Well, I mean, he's semi unconscious. He's not been knocked on the head yet. I just totally didn't see the guard there until it was too late. I'm going to go into this room then. Oh, that's not the uh, bedroom. 
Maybe that's the Lord's bedroom, I don't know. So where's the other... There's supposed to be four guests, I found three rooms. <coughs> oh, that's... That's the notary in the... Lord. Right, this is the Lord's bedroom. Right, 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 I guess it makes sense. The notary is hanging out there because he kind of has cheated things to take control of the estate by himself. Right, right, right. So... I mean, I don't know. I don't know, it seems like that's the Lord's bedroom in terms of fanciness, but I honestly don't know for sure. Let's leave the note where I had it. So what we got here. Balcony that I can't get onto. Okay. Important business. Very good use of, of lighting, by the way. In terms of, yes, you can turn the lights off, but there's usually a lamp or something else. You can never make the rooms fully dark. I like it. Hello. <laughs> right, that vent doesn't open. All right, more guards that way. Watch out this way. Spectrum. All right, who is this? Oh, we have another vent. Oh, she heard that and woke up snoring. I guess. Olivetra's... Olivetra's... Yankail ring? Oh, we dropped from her. <coughs> Letter from the notary to her. Olivetra, my love. I still cannot believe our luck. He's dead, and we had nothing to do with it. I wonder who you've got to pay in order to re receive such fatal retribution. Do you have any idea who did it? An arrow right into the heart? The assassin is still on the loose. Now that I'm the owner of Martin Exports, I'd better watch my back, my sides, and my front. By the way, I hope you don't think I want us to live in that cold old manor. We should sell it and go live downtown, closer to the opera. I know you always wanted to, but couldn't because of my arachnophobia. Luckily, they completely solved the spider problem in the neighbourhood. I know there are some cute little apartments in that part of the city. Think about it, my love. We could go to the opera whenever we wanted. Your Celadon. Yes, they're, they're conspiring in the dark. They apparently didn't conspire to kill him, so... Uh, just to obtain all his wealth. Okay, would you mind actually going into that gap? Thank you. Oh, this is a... different guest bedroom. Wait, have we been in this room already? Looks familiar. Yes. All right, this was in the servants' area. I'll go back up the stairs again in a second. 
the butler man here has gone down the stairs. Right, I went this way, did I? Yes. Quiet, we got it. Explain the daggers above the stairway. I was not above this stairway. Clearly a handle on that window, but it's not openable. It's just texture. Guards sat out there. What's a big fancy painting? Down quietly might be an issue. I guess I can spend another one of these. Let's see if there might be something valuable there for me to nick. Past him might be a problem too. Well, I have water arrows, you know, I can. Sorry. It was a mistake. Just an accident. Just a. See? There's nothing. If he turns around in time, I could jump past him, but... Uh, 
this guy going back and forth? We don't really have freedom of movement. That guy to turn around and this other guy to be going downstairs or hanging out downstairs for me to make that jump. I mean, I could just sneak it, I guess. It's probably dark enough. So I'll do that this time. Not worry about the jump. Turns around now, it's not good timing. Maybe it is good timing. Maybe it is good enough timing. So whose bedroom is this? Oh wait, this is just a been here. So I need to get past this guy. How am I supposed to get past him? Definitely not while his friend is coming out the stairs. <coughs> we got the one moss left. Patient's count. Could of course knock them both out. And... So he's gonna walk into me there for a minute. A plant? Is the key behind it? No. Whose room are these though? can help you to find the evidence you're looking for, thief. But first you must help me and save my daughter's life. Meet me in the garden near the greenhouse. New objectives. Search in his bedroom to try to discover who really killed him. Well, we completed that, but... Um, help Lord Martin's goat. Meet ghost. Not his goat. Maybe help his goat too. If his goat is hungry, feed it some carrots. Meet him in the garden and save his child's life. He'll return the favor. Okay. So this is the Lord's bedroom then. Also has a duct, but a probably not accessible. Okay, we've got a locked key here. Don't know whose key it would be. Is this really the Lord's bedroom? It seems very bare. The other room, the central room, is far fancier. I'm a little surprised, to be quite honest. Nothing in the fireplace. Oh, we can. Letter from Shrewd to Dregger. Oh, Dregger must be staying here. Finding the assassin is a matter of no importance. We have already learned that it was done by a thief working for Raputo. And we have to pay a little visit to Raputo tomorrow. We will eventually find where our assassin is hiding. Unless our hammerhead friends get to him first. Rummage, poke, stir, but find. I want stock registers, names of associates, etc. In short, where, when, how, and with whom. Martin Exports is one of the most efficient covers for the spice trade, and this is our chance to uncover it all. We'll eliminate organized crime that has soiled our beloved city for too long. I trust you. G. Trut. Okay, this is Dregger. And I guess we haven't uh, got his key yet. Inquiry report by Luther Dregger. Case, Lord Martin. I have thoroughly searched both the office and the bedroom of Lord Martin. I've been able to find information involving Lord Martin with a number of suspected criminals. Names such as Ramirez, Ruben, and Bapard pop up only too often. 
Strangely, though the assassination must have been commanded by Rabuto, according to Truett, I found nothing about him. Perhaps Martin was forced to destroy some evidence under duress. I'm still waiting for the final version of the Lord's Testament so that I can send it on to the Baron's clerk. The notary should bring it here before morning. I've got to get back to work now. Okay. Alright, and this room? Not again. Are you trigger? <coughs> you don't look like the other guards, he's dressed in a different uniform. You're not the captain. Right, the captain would be uh said he was gonna be over where Lord Martin was on display. <laughs> was exposed. Right, this is the office, I guess. The Lord's office, the crime scene. <sighs> Lord Paul Martin's journal. Garrett turns the pages quickly until... Entry 22. Terrible. I'm devastated. My sweet aubergine and the child horribly wounded. How will I survive? I want to die. Garrick turns some pages once more. Entry 47. I'm starting to feel better. Apart from her terrible scar, Scarlet is a perfectly normal child. Concerning my relationship with Lady Dubois, I think I feel pretty liberated since all my wife died, even though she doesn't seem to appreciate Scarlet very much. It's fortunate that we have Garance with us. She's like a mother to Scarlet. Well, maybe Olivasa will give me the son I've always dreamed of and prove to be as much of a blessing as Garrett's. Could this child be any more of a fool than my own brother? Impossible. I hate to think of it, but he'll never be the one to succeed me. If I die without a son, there'll be no Martin to take care of Martin exports. Garrett turns some pages once more. Entry 238. Regretfully, I've decided to revise my last will and testament today. Although Master Celadon wasn't pleased, I've decided to bequeath less than half of my capital to Martin. He's way too lazy to work and too much of an idiot to take care of himself. This will provide him with some security and will soothe my conscience. As for the business, we've left everything as such. 90% will go to the foreign investors. The remaining 10% will be shared between my two main associates. 239. Master Builder, help us. Scarlet has been kidnapped. Someone knows that Reuben is looking after me. I can pay, but they better not dare to touch Scarlet. I've taken the day off. I went to the old woman's to drink one of her delicious teas. We were standing in her kitchen when suddenly I heard suspicious sounds coming from below. It sounded like the shouts of a child, and the old one swore to me that it was nothing, just my imagination. I saw in her eyes that she was trying to hide something from me. I will find out. We'll kill your child if you refuse to cooperate. We have documents that are compromising enough to get you hanged in a public place. Remember the Reuben affair? Leave the money where we've told you to, and your child will live. We'll contact you again once we have obtained what we've asked for. Do not forget, if you refuse to cooperate, we will kill your child. You'll be next. Oh, hello? Information about Raputo. I can't read it. Okay. That was not marked as a secret, interestingly enough. Dragger's key now. So we should be able to get this now. Dragger's silver dagger. Okay, so we've done we've got the key, we've done Dragger. Alright. Where is the garden? Don't know, why is there an old man now? Maybe the garden's out the front. Uh, 
Oh, hello. I wonder if I can get in there. Just as long as this guy doesn't turn around at an inopportune moment. side of it, but that's the secret number five. So I'm not on the map. Well, I'm glad I did the super stealthy way of sneaking past him. Instead of the uh, cheesy secret passageway. Oh, there's a banner there I need to deal with there. Alright, I can drop down back onto this beam, I think. And then we can drop back down to the floor below, deal with the banner and head down the stairs. Sitting room of some kind. Oof, carrot. Like right in front of him, and you can't grab it. Man, that's from distances I do not like. Don't know why you just serve your mission just to be more inconvenient in that way. But... Oh well. So where did I come in from? I don't think I've been down here, right? Alright, have I been in this room? Nobody better be taffered around down here. All right, I turned the light off on him. That's right. Yes, so I've been there. <clears throat> uh, gotta stay on my toes anyway. Oh, we might as well follow the butler downstairs, right? Sound like noisy floor when he was walking on it, but okay, I'm back here. Mm -hmm. Noise, stop. Guess it was nothing. Did I go that way? I have not been that way. the guard that I saw up there. Okay, this should be a quiet floor, right? Okay, I'm creeping up to nothing, but it's the same pattern as the noisy floor. I'm confused by that. Oh, this is the main entrance. He's going to see me, isn't he? Who's there? Oh. 
Alright, well. <sighs> didn't realise I was going outside, but this should get us to the garden. Hello, I think I see a gas arrow. Can we, can we, what are you doing, Garrett? What? Is that a ladder? Okay. What did it say? In the garden. Uh, he said something in the garden. He gave me more specific instructions, but I didn't write them down and I've now forgotten them. I think he might have said in the garden by the greenhouse. Aha, uh -huh. yes, okay. You do good. Well, I guess that's where we're going next. There's vines there. Run down. Nice courtyard he's got here. I think I can climb down these vines anyway. Yes. Okay, man. Now enter this old house. Seek for a hidden passage that leads to the pagan sanctuary. You'll need this key. Beware of the old woman. Pagan sanctuary? Bring my daughter back. I'll wait for you here. Okay. So this isn't going to help solve the mystery of why I was murdered, which I kind of want to know. <sighs> nice and stealthy there, Garrett. Oh, this is the basement. This is the coal hole. <sighs> Alright, I guess then... To the old manor. Beware of the old woman. Let's check the upstairs. It seems like it's not going to be the, the way to the pagan sanctuary, right? Let me see what is here. Hello? Hello? I guess we need to make notes. That's number six. in the kitchen. Did I make a note? No, I had the note. Where was it? There we are. I uh, looked into the hallway next to the kitchen and heard something sounded like metal. It sounded just needed a hole in the old man. I heard the butler's door close. Take a look in his room. He's hiding something valuable. Like okay, so this must be the butler's room. This is the kitchen. Stove is not powered. Floor grate does not open. Remedy against rheumatism. Empty. Okay. That's... A surprising thing for Garrett to want to steal. But who am I to judge him? Putting behind the door, is that? Nice window. That's a... a noise. So that's just supposed to be that... 
Mister? Maybe. So, I mean, pagan sanctuaries. Greenhouse technically could be considered that, I suppose, but. Doesn't seem to be in this case. Sounds like breathing. Okay. Right, we're gonna need a key. Well, we've got the butler's key, right? We'll check that in just a second. I'm just looking for any other valuables you might have. Flower pots? Wait, 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 wait. The, the, the butler's. He said behind the flower pot near the butler's room, right? I mean, is that the butler's room? Oh, I'm confused. Where was that other note that I had? Is that one? No, that's the opera. It was this one, wasn't it? Look behind the flower pot in the hall near his room. He used to hide his spare key there. Well, we have a key. We stole a key of his belt, right? If it's so, uh, we shouldn't need. There we are. No. So it's not the butler's room then, but it's near the kitchen. All right. Well, let's do that switch that's on here. Does that open anything in this room? Feels like that's got to be a thing that opens. Not feeling like ordinary floor, and yet it's also not opening for us. Anything hidden in here? There's not really much of many places you can hide anything in here. Secret passage and can't find any sign of a secret passage. Well, I mean, I found the one upstairs, but it's not getting me anywhere. Well, man, I guess maybe your daughter's locked doors, you know? Besides, they said they were going to kill her before they killed you. And they killed you, so she must be dead already, right? Come back later. Down from here, can I get back up? Not really. 
Oh, sorry, there's more moss down here, so that's what it's coming down for. What's there? Just a sneaky thief. You're making noise now. No will. Guess we're just nothing. I want to check the last corner too, but he probably will see me, right? Was that door? Did that go into the old manor? I just suddenly get all lit up, I don't know. Not not good though. Ah, oh, I might be from that light there. Nope, nope. Some moss here as well. Don't worry, I'll find you. <laughs> it seems quiet enough now. Okay. What's there? It was a little too close. Another door there, they're just, they're just hanging out in there. This map is confusing, I don't really have any clear idea where I am, right? I seem to be facing. Oh, I guess we're in the cloister. Greenhouse and tower, right, 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 right. So we're not in the old manor right now. Upstairs key. And passage. Okay. So I want to go where that guy came out of. Oh well. I don't know what it was. Look over there. Do you see something? No, Will. Guess we're just nothing. Have I been here? <clears throat> I have been here, this is where I came in. There's my infamous railing. And that stairway. <laughs> well, alright, we've got the ground floor to explore here. I think that we'll have to wait for the next episode. So, uh, I'll see you then.